the most photographed herd in South Dakota. That's funny. We are entering in Porter Sculpture Park. Wayne Porter sculpted all of this stuff since the 80s. We're on about 10 acres. We're going to go get in there further, but you can see some of them from far away there. Never took an art class. Learned everything blacksmithing from his dad. Leash your dog for or significant others. Parking. Jimbo's going to pay the guy. Look at this fun art. We have a little bit. That's what it's all made out of? It's a big horse. Oh, okay. The horse got here three years ago. Oh, wow. Wow. It's a bull lamp of the 100 year old type. So. Wow. Yeah, my dog is telling me the cows are near the Oh. Very friendly dog. Been here 12 and a half years. Oh. Headed by thousands of people, but he, that's his job. He's supposed to tell daddy when the cows are coming up. <laughs> There you go, Loretta. There's a butterfly for you. <laughs> the tours, they come from anywhere. The hordes from various bands displaying their plunder, shot glasses, bumper stickers, and t-shirts from conquered lands. They wear the dress of barbarians and reek of adventure. They walk like kings. I stay here to grind their axes and sell them poetry and various things. I want to go with them where they go. They speak of Mongolia, China, Spain, Vancouver, Florida, Maine. They will be gone before the first snow. Some go to raid the coast. Some go north. Some act lost and go back and forth. Does the wind always blow like this, they ask? No, sometimes it blows from the other way, I always say. They always ask, what is that crop I just passed? I, they implore. Corn, I say, and it won't be the last. Head down the road and there is more. <laughs> they always ask. I want to go with them where they go. I want to go where the corn does not grow. I want to go where the wind does not blow. I want to go where they go. Oh. Cool vultures. And there's some old farming equipment. So we got 10 acres here, over 50 pieces of uh, art sculptures. This one's got a big old wire through them. And this one's holding on to an anvil rainy day. I never had a wish to shower with a fish. I thought that it would be kind of odd. I did not want to shower with a mackerel. I did not want to shower with a cod. I said to the fish in my shower, you've been here an hour. Please go out and play. He said, I cannot go out and play. It has been raining all day and I do not want to get wet. As of yet, I have not seen an otter fella than that caught in my shower with an umbrella. This place is so cool. I love the goldfish. Oh, it's a goldfish bowl and he's jumping out. Oh, I missed the sign. It's a broken goldfish bowl. And his friend already got out. Oh, no. More fish. Yeah. <sighs> Magic dragon. This is the sculpture's first large piece, 1983. For 17 years, it was an 
on display outside his father's blacksmith shop in the small town where he grew up 10 miles northwest of here, 110 miles. Many local couples became engaged in the shadow of this dragon over the years, hence the name. It has been here since the park opened in 2000. Will the magic continue? What is this? Oh, it's a dragon that's been slayed. And flowers are now growing up through him. Poor dragon. Jim old picking berries. Oh, what's this guy? Hi. Oh, it's a it's a fly with a fly swatter. <laughs> Cute. I like him. He's got a little house down there. The wise man, like the three wise monkeys, he hears no evil, speaks no evil, and sees no evil. In order to be wise, he must be mangled. Mangled, like this guy. Oh, and there's the horse. The man was talking about the newest. Oh, we're being guarded by these strange skeletal creatures. Yikes. Sixty feet tall. Hey, this thing is bigger than a Mount Rushmore president's head. An Egyptian bull. I think I read it was. Ancient warriors in antique graves defiled by sheep as sheep graze. Silly sheep. They don't know whose graves they stand. And the warriors just keep sleep and sleep. In the Congo, there's a type of art where every nail or spike driven into an effigy is prayer. Inside the bull, I have driven spikes into the creature from the Black Lagoon, a character from one of my favorite movies. In the poem, Still Falls the Rain, the poet speaks of tears of the haunt, hunted hate. We should all pray for the tears of the hunted hair, hate, and for the bear that the keepers beat. Or the beat? Uh, oh, there's some of these letters. Warning, it has the ambiance of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Mm. Oh, snakes! Little snake! Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, wow. It looks really neat with the sunlight coming through. Holy moly. That is a little spooky. I hear crickets. So random. But that was neat. Oh, and there's those are fake bats. Hey, I hope they're fake. But yikes. I didn't expect to see that. Oh, pretty flowers. Highway noise and pretty flowers. All right, says that buffalo have been rubbing their fur on that rock for 10,000 years now. <laughs> Ooh, what's this blue girl and the purple girl? Oh, I'm so excited. Let's see, I gotta get on the other side of them. Look at that hair. Oh. How cute. <laughs> what in the world? Naked people. I love it. The Red Hammer, anything worth building 
may break a few hammers. <laughs> oh, and it's pulling a nail out. <laughs> Wowzers. Is that not the world's largest hammer? Probably not. Wow. That horse is huge. It must be 60, 65 feet tall. I'm sure we can't go up in it, neither, nor would I want to, but it does kind of look like it's got a little climbing area here. But I just wanted to get close to his feet. Wow. Hi, oh, slay thee! <laughs> He's riding a little wooden horse. <laughs> From the stone abbey and down the stair, the red monks go all in a row, all in prayer. dissection just like I remember in biology class <laughs> he's got a rocket in there some birds another frog teddy bear <sighs> scary jack in the box really spiked Whatever stick. Yeah. Yikes. He's got a hand coming out of his head. Oh. Ah, downhill skiing. They're sledding. A hey, sweet dragon sniffing flowers. Yikes. A slithery snake dragon serpent. Oh, I hear the dog. We must be getting close to the beginning again. Ah, it's chasing me! Help! It's coming to the end here. Pain and joy can coexist, but neither stays forever. Butterflies fly away. Thorns are pulled. All right, that was a Porter Sculpture Park. How neat was that? It's cool. Wayne, the guy who did all the sculptures, is the one who sold us the ticket to get in. How neat. Very cool. Bye, Wayne. And all your cool art.